everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Claiborne. I'm so happy that you're here for this momentous occasion. So I got to see my first adult monarch today uh, for 2023. So today is May the 20th, 2023. And uh, I hadn't seen any monarchs yet, and I was a little bit worried because I judge by the size of my Asclepia plants. Um, if they're not eaten to the ground immediately, then I kind of worry that I didn't get any monarchs. And this is the largest my Asclepias have gotten without being eaten by um, caterpillars. But I did get to see my first um, adult today. Hopefully it's a female. Hopefully she brings her friends. Uh, we just put in 30 more Asclepia, actually more than that, because we put in 30 Asclepia plants and another seed packet of Asclepia for the monarchs up here. Um, so I got to see my first monarch today. So I was just out here sharing um, some plants, showing how the butterflies prefer the rue to the butterfly bush or um, the Coryopsis, depending on the size of the butterfly. It's all about the uh, landing uh, landing zone that they have on these plants and um, what they prefer uh, that's their preferred nectar so today was the first monarch day so I was just so thrilled and I really just wanted to share this video with you I hope you enjoy That one's quite active as well. Oh, I just love it when the butterflies come back. <laughs> oh, and they're different. These don't have the white checker spots. Are these the Viceroy's? Oh, no way. It's a monarch. Oh, it's my first monarch. And you guys were with me. My first monarch. Oh, there she is. Oh, oh guys, let's hope she lays some eggs. Ah, my first monarch. At least I hope that's a monarch. All right, well, I'll be checking for eggs. Um, I have a monarch way station, and so I'm supposed to report, like, my first sighting of an adult. Oh, she's beautiful. Greetings, Mama. <laughs> Thank you, my son. Oh, I want to encourage you all to have a little sip of rue in your garden. It attracts so many butterflies. It really just depends on what the natives are in your area. It's just so rewarding. She just flew over my head. <laughs> May 20th, my first monarch of the season for 2023. There's been a lot of bees on the beard tongue today. Some more at the moment. It's just about past its prime. I really want to get some more beard tongue going. Such a cool plant. It gives them all a 
chance to sit next to her in a private chamber. Well, the bees anyway. The butterflies tend to ignore it. The butterflies are going to prefer whatever they can land on comfortably. Isn't that right? <laughs> There's one on my sign. <laughs> I wish the cars would quit going by today because they disturb them so much. I'm glad you all got a chance to see the monarchs. This is such a beautiful time of year. Oh, just think it won't be long now. We're all going to have monarch eggs. Checker spots are going to be laying their eggs in the echinacea. And oh, look at that beautiful bee on that coreopsis. And then the, uh, the monarch should lay her eggs on the Asclepia. Asclepia's blooming and waiting, huh, honey? Can you get some nectar out of that? <laughs> no, she preferred the Asclepia. There she is. Isn't that a beautiful flower? I love Asclepia. All right, I have got to get something else done today. I swear, I'm so, I'm so mesmerized by this garden. I just absolutely love it. And it just gets better and better as, as the season goes by. This garden just gets better and better. I love it. 